businesses start to support social issues. The important thing about engaging businesses in their communities is for the most senior people in business to understand the issues which are affecting the community, both where they're working, where they may be living, and which they're seeking to serve. And I suppose for me, the example of the programme that's made most difference in changing business leaders' perception of what's going on started in London in about 2003, where we got a series of business leaders to come on visits into homelessness organisations. They came back and said they had no idea that so many of the people who were homeless, there but for the grace of God, they could have gone. We asked the business leaders, led by a great leader, we asked him to lead a conversation with business leaders about what they could do to make more difference in the homelessness space. And they came up with a programme which asked companies to give us two-week work placements for, corporate, for homeless people. And I remember Marks and Spencer's coming forward and offering 600 places. And five years on, looking back over that programme, we could see that 50% of all homeless people who'd gone on the two-week work placement had gone into jobs. And about 80% of those who'd gone into the jobs had stayed for longer than six months. And the evidence was that their commitment to the business that had taken a risk on them was absolutely unshakable. Which programmes have successfully linked business to the community with outstanding results. A case study that I will never forget was led on a Seeing is Believing visit by Carolyn McCall. And she led a visit to a homeless hostel, uh, which was a wet shelter where homeless clients are allowed to drink. So we were looking at what are the issues, basically for alcoholics who are homeless. And they spent the morning, two hours or so, having conversations with alcoholic, homeless people. And at the end, we gathered together for a debrief. And uh, Carolyn, who was the, very much involved in The Guardian, said, what I was so interested in is I had not taken in the impact of triple strength lager on homeless people, or indeed on the impact it had on the amount that homeless people drank. At one fell swoop they'd taken in practically their entire units for the day. The uh, tax inspector said what I was so interested in was whether we were in fact charging three times the strength uh, of the tax on triple strength lager. Uh, the man from Diageo said what I was so interested in was how important our Drink Aware program is, where we are doing everything we can to get people to drink sensibly, but coming face to face with people whose lives have been ruined by drink, really made me understand how important responsible behaviour in the drinks industry is. And the new chief executive Heineken said, I wonder why we make triple strength lager. And six months later, reporting back to the Prince of Wales and others about the impact of this particular visit, Heineken was able to announce that they would no longer be making triple strength lager in the UK because they could not see what the social purpose was which combined with the business. For me that was a moment at which one realised that marketplaces can be influenced by connecting the connected with the unconnected. <laughs>